Now the Sr. James Powers is safe again. Chrysler Plymouth Dodge, your Dodge truck needs service or body work. At Town & Country Dodge and Hopkins, your dollar goes farther. This uh, San Martin, Mr. Gunther. In northeastern Mexico, it's just a little village. You can pick up a car in Torreon and drive out there. Well, I didn't say I was gone. I know your reputation, Mr. Diamond. And I know your fee. I'm willing to go along with them both. Now, who's this Harry Tyler? He's my partner. Well, what's he doing in Mexico? He went down to see a client. What? About six weeks ago. He left the States spent about two weeks in San Martin, then just disappeared. According to the manager of the hotel, uh, Emilio Tomas, he checked in, spent 11 days, then checked out and just left town. Did, uh, did he drink? No, a little bit, but he wasn't a drunk. Well, how about women? No. Did he have a family? A brother. Lived out in Temple City. He hasn't heard from Harry since he left. Was there any reason why he'd want to disappear? He's a thief. Right after he left for Mexico, the auditors came in on an annual check. They discovered a shortage in one of the trust funds our office handles. Well, how big a shortage? $25,000. Yeah, I'd say that was a good reason to want to disappear. That money was taken from the account of a man named James Powers. He lives in San Martin. What do you know about Powers? His father left him a large amount of money in trust. It pays $190 a month. Now, the check's been mailed to Powers in Mexico over the last seven years. What, have you talked with this Powers? He said Tyler called on him, explained the shortage in his account, and he asked Powers if he wanted to prosecute me. According to the letters, Tyler told Powers I'm the one responsible for the shortage. Won't the account show who's responsible for the shot? Tyler is very careful. There'd be no way of proving which of us got it. I could put the money back into the account out of my own pocket. But if Tyler shows up with an authorization signed by Powers, I know he'd have me jailed. My only chance is to find Tyler and make him tell the truth. That's why I want you to bring him back.
Oh, is this, uh, this town called San Martin? Si, senor, San Martin. Yeah, where can I find the hotel? There. Well, it, uh, didn't have a sign. Everyone knows where the hotel is. Uh, mind if I park my car here? Sure. You want me to grease it? Sure. I'll have your car ready in the morning. There's no need to rush. I'm going to be here a couple of days. Oh? You, uh, you got business in San Martin? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you might be able to help me. Uh, I'll tell her by the name of, uh, Harry Tyler. Supposed to have been here about, uh, five or six weeks ago. No. No, I've never seen him. Never. Well, thank you. I'll have your car ready in the morning. Uh, I told you, I'm in no hurry. I'm going to be here a couple of days. That's what you say now, but in the morning your words might change. Senor, you wish something? Yeah, I'd like a room in the back. Oh, I'm sorry, senor. But this is just a little hotel, a country place. You, uh, don't rent rooms. Uh, we have the room, but... No bath. Yeah. Mm. Well, how about a kettle hot water? Uh, oh, see, we can get that from the kitchen. And then you got self there. Mm. Hey, you can have number four. Do you want something else? Don't you want me to rest you? Why? You gonna forget you got number four? I lost my head. <laughs> I see you about the water. Hey, uh... You happen to know a fellow by the name of, uh... Harry Tyler, uh, stopped here about, uh, five or six weeks ago? See? I remember him. How long did he stay? A week, maybe ten days. Did he say where I was going? Senor, the policeman Torreon came. They asked questions about the Senor Tyler. I tell you as I told them. He came and he left. Past that, I know nothing. Thank you. How long are you going to be in San Martin, Senor? Well, I don't know. Why? This is a quiet village. Since I've been here, this is the first time the police ever come. We don't want any trouble. You're not going to get any trouble from me. Say, uh... You have a man by the name of Powers staying here, James Powers? You see, senor. James Powers lives in the hotel. Well, is he in? I'd like to talk to him. Well, uh, not now, senor. I think well, I think he's at the cantina. What is that? Across the street. Thank you. Oh, uh... Would you see about the, uh, hot water? What is your business in San Martin? Mine. Thanks, senor. I think it would be better if you kept it that way. That sounds like that. You listen to the words as you wish, senor. As I said, this is a peaceful village. The people are not used to questions. Well, I'll try to ask easy ones. That is wise since I'm sure their answers would not be so easy.
I get something to eat. Yeah, uh, just a minute. Let's see. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening. See you later. Uh... Yeah, uh, food, food. What would you like, senor? Anything that doesn't bite back. A drink first? That'll be fine. Now, how about a nice uh, drive? I'll have a little scotch. Uh, hold the ice. The uh, town doesn't seem to get many visitors. No, not many. It's off the main road. And the village makes nothing. Nothing to cause the people to swallow the dust. What do you mean? We make no pottery, we weave no baskets. There's nothing for the tourists to buy. Well, what keeps the town going? It's a nice place to live. I'll see about your food. In number four from the hotel? I uh, sure. I have a message for you from the man Powers. James Powers? Yes. He wishes to speak to you right away. Where is he? Outside. He says it's most important. Well, uh, lead the way, honey. Why didn't he come into the cantina? He prefers to speak to you in private. You say what about? No, just that he wanted to see you. It is important. Uh, honey, look, um, you tell Powers that if he wants to talk to me, he can see me at my hotel. Detective, you hear my words? You get out of San Martín, you hear me? You get out or you're gonna get what your friend, Senor Tyler, got. The largest marine dealer experienced the Minnetonka Boat Works located on YZ Bay. Take me to the hotel. Are you hurt, senor? Now, Meg, please let me help you. Now you just leave me alone. I was only trying to be of help. I got a sample of your help. Now, who's that girl? Girl? All right, we'll pledge you.
Did you hit me? Did you send that girl? No, senor. I, I know nothing, I swear. Look, ever since I've been in this town, I've been treated like an old Maynard who came for the weekend with six trunks. Now, I want some straight answers, and I want them fast. How long you go on breathing through that nose depends on how quick I get them, all right? A girl asked me to go for a walk tonight. She had dark hair, dark eyes, very pretty. Who is she? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Neither could be Dolores Flynn. Who is she? Well, a girl of the village. A friend of James Powers. What's Powers got to do with it? He and the senor Tyler didn't get along. There was some trouble. Over the girl? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Someone was in my room tonight. It was. I don't know. That is the truth. I don't know. Where's Powers? Is he in? I haven't seen him. Oh, when's he due back? I don't know. <laughs> For a big man in this sump hole, you don't know very much, do you? No, senor. I'm very stupid. You're also alive. You want to keep it that way? Number one, you bring back the bullets to my gun. Number two, you find out who the girl is and where I can talk to her. Number three, you find out where Powers is. The way things are going around here, it looks like the guy with all the answers. Now, it's exactly 11.30. You've got one hour. I want all three. The bullets, the girl, and Powers. I'll be in the cantina. If I don't get all three in one hour, I'll be back for you. You want to keep this town peaceful and quiet? Well, you do what I told you. One hour. begin to wonder. You only have ten minutes more. Why do you do this, senor? Why do you cause all this trouble? I'm not causing anything. I came into this town to ask a few questions. Since I've been here, I've been beaten up and I've been threatened. But he talks about how peaceful this town is. Well, it isn't peaceful and it isn't friendly. You guys want to play rough, I'll join the gang. Was Senor Tyler that good a friend? I didn't even know him. You will bring great sorrow to San Martin, Senor. You say you didn't know Senor Tyler. Well, he wasn't a nice man. Not at all. He was one of those from your country. What do you call him? A fool. He thought we were good for nothing but to serve him. Like I told you, I didn't know him. He cursed Senor Powers, one of the kindest, most beautiful persons who ever lived here. He cursed Senor Powers and said he would tell everyone what thieves the people of San Martin were. He said he would tell the whole world. I say kill him. Get Jose. Get him in the chest. Pedro. No. It is not Senor Diamond who has been wrong. It is time this affair came to an end. Go into the cantina. You have asked. You shall get the story. Senor Diamond, when we thought you were like Tyler, we had to stop you. You know the guy that hit me. I, I'm sorry about that. I could think of no other way. Look, I still don't understand why you had to kill Tyler. We talked it over. We talked about it in council. We all agreed. Well, who killed him? We don't know. We put him against a stone wall at the edge of town and we all fired at once. And that way, none of us could be sure. A firing squad? It has been used in your country before, I believe. Well, your authorities will have to decide what to do about Tyler. Not about powers, was he? You still don't understand, Senor Diamond. 
You see, Senor Powers was like a saint to us. When the children in our village were sick two years ago, he paid for the doctor. When the crops failed last year, he bought new seed. On a saint's day, he paid for the wine. A saint. And he was rich? A hundred and ninety American dollars a month. And he gave it to us. It was not like the man Tyler said. Not at all. He said we were stealing the money. And Mr. Powers did say we could use it. Well, I don't see what the big problem is. Why didn't Powers just tell that to Tyler? Senor, you don't understand. Senor Powers has been dead for three years. have been endorsed and cashed and those letters back and forth they were all signed by James Powers by uh, Pedro the bartender yep well, you see when Powers was alive Pedro used to take the checks into Torrio and for him and cash him after Powers died it was a simple matter to forge the signatures on the checks and cash him they didn't think there was anything wrong with it but they killed Tyler that doesn't make any sense you see, as far as they were concerned, the money was theirs. Powers had given it to him. Well, he never notified us of it. Yeah, well, he died suddenly. And Tyler found out about the death and threatened to stop the checks. Well, the town couldn't have that happen. You see, they had to make everyone in the States believe that Powers was still alive. But you knew it, and they let you out. Yeah. You know, those people have a great deal of pride. Tyler threatened to expose them as thieves. What's going to happen to them? Oh, I don't know. There's some sort of official action going on down there now. How about you? The embezzlement? Oh, I'll live with it. Won't be so bad. Now that Powers is dead, I'll put the money back into the account. Try to explain it. Hope it's forgotten. Well, $25,000 is a lot of money to lose. Could have been worse. What? Look what Tyler lost. Thank you.